got to sometimes we got to snap back quick. Job came to himself. Amen. He said, wait a minute. God, hey, Lord, I repent. Lord, forgive me. Lord, you are, you are the great I am, and we have to do that. God knows what he's doing in our life. He said, I know the plan for you that I set for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I always tell people, you want to hear God laugh? Tell him your plan. Tell him what you think you're going to do. Tell him what you got planned. <laughs> My God. Glory to God. But just to encourage you today, trouble don't last always, praise God. I know you feel like crying right now. I know you feel like giving up, throwing in the towel. Don't give up. Don't give up. The devil come to wear out the saints. Don't let him wear you out. Don't let him have the victory because he ain't going to have it in no way. He's still in hell on the chain. Can't get loose. But he sent his imps to torment you. All you got to do is bind them up, resist them, and they'll flee. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tap in. Tap in to the greatness that God is. Tap in to the deliverer. Tap in, amen, to the almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Ask God to clear your mind and clear of all the clutter and all the anxieties. And, I, you know, I was talking to one of my friends, praise God, and, and, and he was saying how, uh, why can't some people just be happy? Why they always got to find some kind of glitch? They got to find something wrong with something. Why can't they just be happy? I say that's because they don't have Jesus. You got to get Jesus. When you get Jesus, you got peace. You can't tap into something that you that you don't have. See, to just be, to just be, hallelujah, happy, look at that, just be. To just be, you got to have peace. To just be, you got to learn how to be content. Paul mastered that thing. He said, I learned to be content in whatever state that I am in. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you learn to be content, it wipes away the tears. We talked about yesterday on the show about, amen, disappointment, how to keep from being disappointed, I mean, being disappointed, and how to, uh, if disappointment comes, how to be get delivered from it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it's possible. Hallelujah. Glory to God, that heaviness you feel right now, that rejection you feel right now, it's possible to get delivered. Amen? Trouble don't last always. Hallelujah. I knew somebody that was in a, that was in a very abusive marriage, praise God, and they was holding on to that marriage just to see if God was going to change it or to see if it was going to get better. But the abuse got worse, praise God. It came in different forms. And guess what? Eventually, God released that woman out of that marriage. God released her. She didn't kill the man. She didn't She didn't uh, take it upon herself to, to do what she needed to do to get free from it. She didn't do any of that. She began to seek God. She began to give it over to God, and God rescued her. God released her. Amen. Hallelujah. But it got to be a God thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. It can't be something done in your flesh. I'm going to get out. I'm a, it, you got to wait on God. And you got to see what God wants you to learn from that situation. You got to see what God is trying to show you about you in that situation, praise God, so that wisdom can set in. And when your promised land comes, come on now. I've seen people remarry each other. I've seen it. I've seen years go by. Ten years go by, five years go by, and them two God bring them right back together when they're better, when they're when they're better for each other. Ain't that something? Hallelujah! Go to God. So we gotta learn to put everything in the hands of God. And when you get to fighting stuff in your flesh and in your own mindset, and I'm gonna make you do what I want you to do, and I'm gonna change you because I got I'm I'm powerful in the gospel. Come on now, you messing with God's business, amen? amen? Hallelujah. You just serving, serving and humble yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Go to God and receive him in your in your spirit, man, and say, Lord, give me peace. Lord, Lord, uh, soften my heart. Lord, teach me to be meek. Lord, teach me to be humble. I promise you, your promised land is coming. Amen. Your promised land is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. You're listening to my gospel song. I just wanted to give a quick word of encouragement. I'm going to play one of my songs. Amen. It says, Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. You know what? No, I'm going to play Glory to God, Joy to Me. Amen. Right here on my gospel song.
set the cat free. Oh, set the cat free, cat free. My Jesus is a joy to me. He's the one that set the cat Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. He is my joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Hallelujah. It is my strength. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good in my spirit right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> my God. You know, I, y'all, if I could just, if I could just um, impart what I'm feeling in the spiritual realm right now into your life. I mean, you, I'm t- it's like the Holy Spirit. It's like, uh, like Pastor Harris told me this week. He said, "Me and him, me, listen. Me and Pastor Harris over at King Street uh, Church, we we got to talking about the Lord. And, and people who really, really know me, they know I love to talk about the Lord. I love to talk about miracles and blessings. I love to." I also love to joke around and have fun and, 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 and be a little comedian every now and then. But every time I meet a, a, a part of my spiritual family, amen, a new person, um, it's a it's like the Holy Spirit leaps like Mary and, and Elizabeth. The, the, the Holy Spirit begins to leap, amen, in, in my belly, amen, hallelujah, if I may say it like that. And me and Pastor Harris, we was talking about how the the church is not our church. It belongs to God. It belongs to all of us. We are all one body, praise God. And and I'm telling you, amen, the man of God spoke some things into my life. Uh, And I was at a place, amen, I know iron sharpens iron. And I, I have a couple of other pastors that I talk to, amen, glory to God, and, and, and women of God that I talk to. That, that really nurture and, and that iron get together and, and we get to sharing the gospel. And let me tell you, <laughs> my God, I'm telling you, it's an overwhelming feeling when you just commune with somebody in the Holy Ghost. Amen. When you fellowship with somebody in the Holy Ghost, when you testify and you share, amen, something hey, hey, with somebody and, 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 uh, and, and you come into an agreement. Come on now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Two or more gathered. Amen. Hallelujah. He'll be in the midst. Praise God. And and I'm telling you, amen, in this time, in this season, praise God, that heavens are open. We're dealing with an open heaven, praise God. And, and I'm telling you, it, it, God has begun to manifest himself, himself not over months now. Now it's things that God has used me to speak. Praise God, amen, and, and, and they're happening like the next day, and within the next hour, praise God, within the next three hours. It's an open heaven right now, praise God, and I'm telling you right now, praise God, it is a place, oh, my God, amen, and let me tell you something, nobody mad but the devil, so you got to be, not only be, um, you got to not only Praise God, be be right there with your hands ready to receive the abundance. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to be able to hold it all. I'm going to tell you right now because it's going to be stuck. It's going to be pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Hallelujah, Lord of God. Amen. But at the same time, amen, you better be a watchman too. Because that devil, he's slick. And he's cunning, praise God. He'll come in and he'll try to mess with your mind, your head, make you think that, you know, that you ain't who you are and you ain't where you're supposed to be and, and all this kind of stuff. But how many of you know, glory to God, that we serve a God that's a mind regulator? Come on. Hallelujah. We're stepping into a heavenly realm. We're stepping into a place. See, People don't understand, praise God. When you step into that place, amen, where you are saying, speaking miracles and blessings on a day-to-day basis, praise God, and you have tapped in, amen, to that he's able. Come on. Listen, it's so much power. It's so much power in stepping into that realm of he's able. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they just needed to be delivered from fire. But God says, guess what? I'm not only going to deliver you from the fire. If, why, listen, I'm going to deliver you from the fire while you in the fire. He did not. He said, come on. I'm going to come and I'm going to dance with you in the fire. Hallelujah. And when you get out the fire, hallelujah, I'm going to sit you in the promised land. All I need for you to do is to walk in the he's able. <laughs> Hallelujah. All I need, all I 
believe that I'm able. All I need for you to do is to speak that I'm able. Come on. All I need for you to do is to take a chance to come on. If, if it requires you to walk in the fire, if it requires you to walk in some places that's under fire, come on now. If, it, if, if, it, if I say you got to go into a place that nobody else go into, come on. You got to be willing to, oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm just trying to let you know, amen. I, I really wanted to network, but I guess I am getting you connected. Hallelujah. I want you to connect it to, I want you to be connected to this divine, uh, this divine arsenal of power. Hallelujah. This divine arsenal, glory to God, of miracles and blessings. This divine arsenal, glory to God, of overflow. This divine arsenal, praise God, of abundance. I want you to be connected. Come on now. Hallelujah. Oh, because if you plug in, oh, Lord, have mercy. If you plug in to this source, glory to God, amen. amen. But guess what? Before you plug in, you got to believe that he's able. See, that hey, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I know when I plug in my, my coffee pot, I believe it's power in the wall. Come on, hallelujah. I believe, amen, that when I plug in that coffee pot, it's going to come on. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, amen, I, I, listen, listen, plug in, hallelujah, get connected, hallelujah, whoop, Lord have mercy, and through Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Abednego's connection to God, hallelujah, guess who else got connected, the king got connected, come on, he said, I just want to be connected to whoever that is that's dancing with them, five. come on, hallelujah, <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's talk about Daniel in the lion's day. Hey, hey, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, and he was and when they came back to check on Daniel, glory to God, amen. Yeah. He was in that sleep. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. And the and the and the giants and the lions will sleep around him. Come on, hallelujah. Your giant, amen, can be put to sleep. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm just trying to bless you. I'm just trying to bless you. We're in the, listen, we got to get out of that, get out of that uh, paycheck, the way my paycheck is set up, the way my bank account is set up. But what, listen, the way my God is set up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the way my God is set up, praise God, it tells me, glory to God, that I have access, hallelujah, to unmeasurable favor. I have access, glory to God, hallelujah, to power from on high. All I got to do is say, he's able. And he'll meet me in my faith, hallelujah. See, some of us don't realize God can't, he don't meet us in doubt. He don't recognize doubt. He only recognizes faith. God will meet you in your faith. It doesn't matter what other people are doing around you. God is looking for the faith walker. He's looking for your faith. He, oh, come on now. <laughs> He's looking for that one, amen, that's going to believe him regardless. If the, if the lights get cut off, you're going to believe it. You're going to believe it. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Jesus. He's able. 